Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new Mateus Cunha card to review today. So we're taking a look at a card who is six foot tall, high medium work rates, right footed, four star skills, four star weak foot. Uh, with Mateus Cunha, guys, he does actually have the lean body type, I believe. Let's take a look and see here. So with Mateus Cunha, he has six foot height lean body type yeah the problem with this is that because he's six foot tall and the bounce is on 85 that could affect the card a little bit right so for us guys we are going to be trying him out on different chemistry styles probably a hawk because of the shooting boost that he gets as well as the finisher chemistry style to see if the dribbling could be a little you know improved a little bit right uh but base card stats for the card for pace is going to be at a 92 acceleration, 94 for sprint speed. So again, on the Hawk, we are going to be boosting that up. We are going to be push, uh, pushing the getting behind instruction on a card like this to see what he's like attacking AI wise uh, with the 93 attacking positioning. Uh, shooting, like I said, if you give him a finisher or you give him a Hawk, you do want to improve that as much as possible. Base card stats for passing for an attacker is actually pretty solid as well. So if you want to use him in the cam position, you totally could. Uh, dribbling we will be experimenting with because of the fact that he's a six foot tall player regardless of the lean body type usually it only works out when uh, a player has like a unique body type right like someone like Mbappe uh, and then physical stats 80 heady accuracy I don't really care too much about that because I don't head the ball that often uh, if I do get into a situation it'd be nice to have obviously like a Ronaldo but it is what it is uh, he has some physical characteristics which uh, isn't too bad but the main thing that we have to see here is what the dribbling is going to be like on his lean body type while being a six foot tall player, right? So uh, in game, guys, with Mateus Cunha, we are going to be using him as the striker to test out attacking AI, to test out um, all of that good stuff, playing in that right striker position on the get in behind, come back and defense, as well as the balanced instruction, just to see what he's like pushing forward, coming back, all of that good stuff. So um, yeah, we'll see how he plays there. Hopefully he's a beast. Oh, I couldn't get the green time on it. Couldn't get the green time. The track back was good, though. Oh, I tried to get like a shot cancel angle. No registration from the defender, though, unfortunately. Oh, I almost got the pass off there. That's unfortunate. Oh, that's a bad first touch by Cunha. Oh, Cunha, you took way too long to settle that, my G. Penalty has to be. Dude, I did a shot cancel, and I think my shot cancel made him slide into me. Oh, he left in the tie. Yeah, what a rat. Oh, the jamminess, bro. I almost scored just from the jamminess. Not even a lot of you guys. Also, the goalkeeper. Yeah. When the goalie pushes a little bit, you could definitely go for the chip, man. I'm telling you. I don't know if it, I don't know if it actually registered the driven pass there. Maybe I have to do more power. I'm not sure. Oh, hello. Okay. We'll take that. Thank you, sir. There you go. He pushed out his goalkeeper a little bit. Small little left stick will score that opportunity. Ah, no chance. No chance. Come on. Ah, I'm trying to work with this dribble a little bit, man. Oh my goodness. I always feel like in the, the past in this game, they're always just over. You know what I'm saying? Like I even do a double tap to get like consistency out of it. Yeah, you got to work with this dribbling a little bit. You got to work with this dribbling a little bit. I'm going to give a finisher to Cunha instead to see how uh, he performs with that.
Ah, oh, too much power. Too much power. Penalty! Oh, why do you fall after the challenge? Come on. Oh, come on. Come on, that was it, my boy. Dude, I, like, I, I feel like this card, I would have to give him an engine or something, because the dribbling is like, even though that he has a lean body type, like, I, it's just, you feel it way too much, man. Look at this. Oh, come on. A, no, I had to cancel. No, from behind. Those challenges, man, those are deadly. Mateus! It's a green, my guy. To be fair, it's a very low percent. Like, I'm telling you guys, that that angle for finesse shots, all that is just not it, bro. You need to have Trincao on a Hawk level shooting to score those. Oh, the double block there. First time. Let's go. Mateus Cunha. Foul? Let's get it. Go, Mateus, go. Oh! <laughs> Not a penalty. I thought that was a penalty. Wow. Am I blind? I might be blind, guys. I might that might be the that might be the thing. I was hoping for a little touch off there. I'm gonna keep that in because I don't know if that actually hit me last. I was kinda hoping for a croquetta and then a first time left stick touch, you know? Would have been great. Oh, maybe if I greened it there, eh? Maybe. Oh, maybe I should have touched it first. Oh, I tried it. I did try it. No, dude, Allison, you beast. Okay, we got a penalty. What is his penalties? 88? Nah, I feel like he's gonna save that to the, to the right side. Ah, screw it. Yeah, I had a feeling. I had a feeling. Okay guys, so final verdict on the new Mateos Cunha card. So, in regards to high performance in game, guys, we tried them out with two different chemistry styles. We tried them out with the Hawk chemistry style as well as the Finisher chemistry style uh, because I felt like I wanted to improve the dribbling, right? Because for base card stats, being at an 85 for balance with a six foot height, you notice this weird sway on the card from time to time, right? It's not time to time, it's from most of the attacks. You can dribble with him a little bit better with the finisher chemistry style, but then you'll lack in pace when it comes to that getting behind instruction if you actually wanna do that because it is pretty meta nowadays uh, to do that. But he does have certain things that actually plays well. So obviously because he has the high medium work rate, uh, that is great to have in the middle of the pitch. I don't think his high medium work rate is amazing, but I still think it's good for the meta of the game for sure. Uh, even with a finisher chemistry style at 92 acceleration, 94 for sprint speed, a card that, you know, pushes forward, comes back is ideal. In the cam position, I wouldn't like using him that much there just because of the way that the dribbling works. It's mainly a striker, in my opinion. Um, I used him and liked him the most on the get in behind, come back in the fence instruction in that left striker area for me because of the fact that he, he doesn't have the pace with the finisher chemistry style. So giving him that chemistry style that boosts his dribbling and shooting as much as possible uh, seemed like the more ideal parts. But yeah, with this card, guys, he just feels like a card that 
EA has improved to a point where he will be good in the meta of the game, but he's nothing special. You know, he just has the four star, four star, high medium, you know, dribbling will be improved with a finisher, shooting will be a certain way, but it doesn't feel crazy special. It just feels like a card that has been improved to the point where he can be the most usable he can possibly be for the meta of the game. So yeah, that's what he feels for me. Nothing like crazy special. I, I, honestly, it was kind of funny because when I was doing reviews for the other cards in the first game, when I was doing the Coward, the first like two or three games, I didn't even really notice him that much, like at all, you know? And I wasn't like specifically reviewing Trincao because when I have like three or four players, I can review multiple cards at once, but I just, like, I didn't really notice him that much. Like just very, felt very generic for the most part, in my opinion. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.